Good morning, it's Friday the 20th of November 2020 and today's assembly is our launch assembly from our Building Resilience programme for the next unit called Talk Things Over. I hope after last week's assembly you have been doing lots of talking things over about our values and that you've got a focus ready in your class from now until Christmas of one of the values that you're going to be particularly working hard on. And I look forward to seeing some of the work and evidence from that later on in the term. Never be afraid to ask for help. It's one of the bravest things that you can ever do. You are never alone. So Skipper has found these 10 tools that help him to cope with the river of life. And here's a reminder of the 10 tools there on the screen. And the one we're going to be focusing on today is talk things over. So we're going to cover that at times we all feel worried. If worries are not dealt with, they can sometimes get out of control. And if you're struggling, it's important to ask for help. Skipper is feeling worried. He's heard from friends that there is a big monster lurking in his section of the river. The river has turned dark and Skipper starts to worry he's going to bump into it. What if the monster tries to sink my boat? Why didn't I do the journey yesterday? At times, we all feel worried, just like Skipper in this story. And we all worry about different things. Skipper is worried about how he's going to handle the monster in the river. The thoughts keep racing round and round in his head. They become bigger and bigger until it is all that he can think about. Ask yourself, what do you sometimes worry about? And if this ever happened to you, do you sometimes find yourself thinking about it over and over again and then the worry just gets bigger and bigger and bigger? So what is a worry? Worries are thoughts that go round and round in our head about things that happened in the past or sometimes they're about things that are going to happen in the future. Thoughts are not facts. Thoughts are just thoughts and can always be changed. Did you know 85 out of 100 things you worry about never actually ever happen? And did you know of those that do happen, it turns out we handle them much better than we think. Sometimes we spend lots of time worrying about something that's coming up, and something that's going to happen. And then when we actually do it, it's not nearly as scary as the thoughts we're telling us inside our heads. If worries are not dealt with, they can sometimes get out of control. Try to notice your thoughts. They're a bit like buses. Lots will come along. Some are going in your direction, while others will take you the wrong way. Sometimes it's important not to jump on that bus. You need to let some of your thoughts go by. Sometimes we jump on the worry bus and we just sit on for the whole journey and we don't get off. Sometimes it's a good idea not to get on that worry bus. Stay in the here and now. Skipper is so busy looking into the water, worrying about the monster, that he misses the beautiful stars in the sky. Remember, we can't control the past or the future. Focus on the present moment and what is actually happening right now. So take a moment, just like our previous focus in our Building Resilience programme. Look around you, look up high, look in the environment, look at the leaves on the trees, where as it starts to get colder, spot the frost on the ground. All of these things we can do to notice what's happening all around us and distract us from these thoughts inside our heads. It can also help to write your worries down. Write down everything that's worrying you. And when the list is complete, take a moment to read it back. 
and then take great pleasure screwing it up, stamping on it and popping it in the bin. All done. If you're struggling, though, it's important that you ask for help and it's important that you know who the people are that can help you and who you can speak to. It is okay to ask for help. So Skipper decides to ask for help in his story. He calls his friend Buzzy, who lets him know that the monsters that he was worrying about are actually beautiful big blue dolphins who are completely harmless. Buddy also gives him some other great ideas to keep his boat safe in the water. It helps to talk over your worries. Sometimes we need to share our worries because we cannot manage things all by ourselves. Talking your worries over with someone you trust can help you to feel much better and put things into perspective. And they can give you some pretty good advice too that you might not have thought of. Try to remember that bad times will pass. Worries, just like the seasons, will eventually pass. After winter always comes spring, summer and then autumn. As day breaks, the river begins to lighten and Skipper can see to the bottom of the river. There is no sign of any monsters. Skipper has a story now about a little girl who carries round a huge bag filled with lots of worries and it's called the huge bag of worries and you might have heard this story before. So now we can pause the assembly video and watch the story. So a couple of little tasks that you can do following today's assembly. The first one is a class task. And I know lots of classes have something quite similar to this already in place, but it's to make a feelings check-in system where children and teachers and pupil support assistants can check in and identify how they're feeling throughout the day. So not just in the morning when you arrive in school, but as the day goes on and before you leave at the end of the day. The home activity, is to create your own worry monster. You can give it a funny name, an unusual personality, and provide an explanation of the worry and how you found good ways to deal with it. So there's something you could perhaps work on at home, maybe draw a picture of your worry monster, or maybe you could make one out of recyclable materials. Before we finish our assembly today, a um, couple of updates, first of all, from the playground. And um, you'll see in the picture there that I'm showing you on the screen, some mushrooms. Now, you may have seen these in our woodland area. If your class is playing in the woodland area just now, or you've had some outdoor learning time in the woodland, you may have noticed that there are some mushrooms growing um, beside the trees and also on some of the wooden play equipment. And janitors are doing um, a great job trying to scrape them off when they spot them. But it's really important that you don't touch them um, and you definitely don't take them and put them anywhere near your mouth. And our 12 days of Christmas. So this comes from Fun and Funds. They have organised a series of little events this year in the lead up to Christmas and um, to bring out some festive cheer for all of us. And there's a lot of different things that are going to be happening from um, donating your old Christmas jumpers to do a little swap shop um, in November to um, a bobble hunt around Marchmont, which sounds really good fun. So you can um, do that and get a map and then there'll be Christmas bobbles in various places all around Marchmont for you to hunt and find. There's going to be a virtual pantomime week and um, where you'll be able to watch Jack and the Beanstalk pantomime online during um, the week of Monday the 7th of December. You can also get involved in the winter window competition where you can decorate your, win uh, your window of your house and then you can enter it to be judged. And there is a red, green or Christmas theme day on the 10th of December where you can wear a red, green or Christmas jumper to school. And we've also got Christmas crafts and movie week on the 14th of December and um, there's going to be an auction as well that your families can get involved in too. So lots of things happening. This information has gone out to your families as well. It's just to make sure that you 
um, have all the information too because there might be some bits in there that you would really like to get involved with. So happy birthdays since last week. So if there's any birthdays in your class, um, remember you can pause the video now and hum happy birthday to um, the people in your class who have celebrated a birthday since the last time we had assembly. And I'd like to wish everybody in our school who had a birthday this week a very, very happy birthday. So to finish off, our theme this week was talking things over. And we'll finish on this little note. Sometimes the only answer people are looking for when they ask for help is that they won't have to face the problem alone. So remember, we can remember the things we've learned today about what to do when we have a worry and who we can talk to or things that we can do to help us to get through our worry. But we can also be the people who are there when someone needs help. Maybe we can listen, maybe we can offer some suggestions or ideas, or maybe we can offer that distraction that stops all those worries going round and round and round in other people's heads. So remember, you don't have to get on the bus. You can let the bus go past and wait for the next one that doesn't have lots of worries on it. So have a good weekend and we'll see you back at school on Monday.